Well, there's a lot of cleanup to be done and a lot of folks without electricity following yesterday's confirmed tornado touchdown in Monroe County. Megan Woods is live with a look at what people there are dealing with and how they're helping each other. Megan. That's right. So the National Weather Service says this tornado wasn't here in Monroe County long, but it was powerful. Those winds take a look at how it not only snapped this tree from the very bottom, but it uprooted it, twisted it. And this is just some of what still needs to be cleaned up. It went from being OK, just your normal thunderstorm to, oh, my gosh, this is something way more. An EF1 tornado, according to the National Weather Service. Monroe County also saw golf ball size hail. People living here in Frenchtown Township say it happened quickly. All of a sudden the wind started picking up real hard and trees started falling. Pretty crazy just watching everything flying through. And everyone ran for cover. For a few seconds, yeah, we went in the back of the house. So people were all running in their, their bathtubs, their closets, kind of the nearest, you know, tornado shelter that you can have. So. The damage left is extensive. Me and my dad were watching the trees fall outside and we heard a big bang and turned around and there was an entire branch through the ceiling. The neighbor right there, his brand new truck of two months, new Ford truck, totaled. We had power for a little while, but now it's been out since so four o'clock yesterday. So, and they said not till maybe late afternoon, early evening tonight. DTE crews have been working to restore power for hours while homeowners are doing all they can to clean up. 20, 30 minutes after the storm was left, neighbors came down with their chainsaws and cleared the road out so people could get up and down the road. And so the good thing is when you do see some of this, uh, these massive trees being snapped and, and things like that, there are so many of them that didn't hit homes, didn't hit cars. And so we've talked to so many people who are just grateful and they refer to themselves as the lucky ones because no one was hurt. And then they're all coming together to help each other out and they have each other. DTE has been able to restore uh, power to some of the homes in this area. But again, progress is being made and that's the best part. Reporting live in Monroe County, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Certainly is okay, Megan, thank you. And for many people outside of Monroe County, most of the damage came from hail. Look at this, one viewer from Howell sent us this, my pick of their car, which suffered dents and a cracked windshield as it was pelted with hail. 